Welcome to another retro book unboxing. This time we have the Blast Annual, Volume 1 for 2020. So this is a look back at games released in 2020, plus a collection of articles on people in the scene and events that have taken place. So there was an attempt to fund this on Kickstarter as a printed edition, but unfortunately that failed. Um, the PDF was then made available online of Volume 1, and a small amount were printed physically. Unfortunately, we've been held up being dispatched by the current pandemic. So finally got my Volume 1. Volume 2 is about to be printed. And so let's have a look inside. Last is the name chosen. The idea being to cover more than just one particular format. Intro from George Batchelor, and then we can see we've got Amiga, BBC, Sega, ZX Spectrum Next, Atari 2600, NES, Interviews, Commodore 64, Spectrum, CPC, MSX, and a lot of features. So introducing the team and myself up there, and all around the all around the world, Australia, USA, UK, Spain, Indonesia, Australia. A memorial to Stephen Wren Smith, Sinclair is that expected next at Play Expo. With legendary Jim Bagley showing off what's possible. The talking about the delivery of the first issue of next hardware second one is funded now on kickstarter are you msx 55 meeting play expo manchester shame those events won't be going on this year commodore retro expo 2019 in las vegas the msx cruise commodore meeting and the commodore club Flashback 2019, BCC Party 13, Forever 2019, Specky Party 2019, D-Hop Demo Party in from January 2019, Revision 2019, Revision 2021 is happening this weekend, and my first feature in this issue, Scene World Retrospective, looking back at the disc mag, and now it's other forms the YouTube channel and the podcast which I contribute Atlantis Demo Group Advert Simon Ferrer Spectrum Developer Smooth Scrolling on the C64 with Shirley Knott BBC to Atom Game Conversions Amstrad CBC Coding in Basic some interesting features alongside Bruce Lee, ZX Spectrum, the RX patch to improve the graphics. Basic then and now from Logica. He does some great ASCII art and directory art. Memories of a Spectrum Gamer. I came for the Sinclair but stayed for the people. Thomas T.J. Ferrer, another YouTube personality. Sega Hotline, looking back at the Sega Helplines, learned to code books. Xscape, fascinating story around Xscape. I helped playtest this new iPhone version. Uh, Paul Gabitzin originally wrote it for the C64, appeared on a Commodore format cover tape, and now it's back uh, as an app. YouTube Retro, some great channels to follow, and Retro Gamer Nation. Amstrad Maniac, Hellfire 64, Beyond the Scanlines, I do, uh, Behind the Scanlines, I do like Behind the Scanlines a lot. Old Style Gaming, been watching their C64, Hidden Gem series recently, Modern ZX Retro Gaming, Player One Start and Retro Break. A piece on Interview with Megastyle, Chris Stanley and Roy Whitting. And did music for Exploding Fish, Victor Parada, Atari developer. Piece about Parallaxian from John Woods.
And then we get into some reviews. Baron Lovejoy travels in time as CPC. Grid picks review on the C64. That's a mini preview because uh, I did the music so I couldn't fairly review it. Preview of Lords of Dragon Spa. Preview of King's Valley. Some controversy over that. THE C64. Telemac 200 joystick. DIY projects, build your own arcade style joystick. Make your own games, 8BP for the Amstrad CPC, land assembly with Chibi Akumas. Next DAW, making music on the next. Piece on the Future was 8 bits, 999 range. So we've got C64 cartridges and VIC 20, some good games in there. 8 bit 2019, the 10 liner contest. You can see lots of entries in there. ABBUC Software Competition 2019. Atari. NES Dev 2019. Halloween Game Dev Competition for the C64. RGN Choice Awards 2019 results. Prodivision Advert. Majesty of Sprites. On the C16 Plus 4, Crazy Blaster C64, CPC Spectrum. And there's just been an update to that. You can now get the digital download. Pets Rescue C16 Plus 4, Vegetable Deluxe C64. Some of my mini reviews. Neutron, 92% there. Bruce Lee Return of Fury, The Ultimate. Filmation Quadrilogy, the four isometric 3D games. Cover Break, Shootout and Total Refill, available now from Sidetronic. Dirks 4, T-Rogue 64. More mini-reviews on the C64. Run Demon Run, The Age of Heroes. More mini-reviews. Redshift. Bean Brothers, Mr. Doe on the Spectrum 1 to 8. Number Nick Gore, Ninja Gaiman Shadow Warriors, PB2, some more Spectrum mini reviews, Major Age, Dead Zone, Lovecraft Mythos, Old Town Spectrum, Quadron. Piece on developer of Quadron. Mountain Bailey. Glove the Tesla Frog. Droid Buster. No. T shirt. Scramble. Two Man. There we do the Spaceport. Yazzie. Night Night. Oh. MSX. And the top of the page is colour coded so you can tell which format. The reviews are on Quartet, T964 with Assemboids, Virus, Barbarian for the MSX, some mini MSX reviews, Gunia Zerka Free, and NES, Super Homebrew War coming soon to the Evercade, Tombstone Spies of the Night 2 for Cry 2600, Aardvark. Based on the arcade game. Spaceman Sproth, Planet of Doom from Plum Software, Rally Racer, Jay Walker Heist, Amiga's Black Dawn Rebirth from Double Sided Games, Skill Grid from Reteam, Bridge Strike, inspired by River Raid, Planet Nubium on the BBC, City Hunt and the Sacred Tribe on Master System. Warhawk Spectrum Next, which is pretty impressive. Crowley World Tour, advert for Bitmap Soft and Darren Doyle's Atari Visual History. From Grey Fox Books, Carlton Handley interview talking about grid picks and run and gun. Santiago Tarnan interview. 
Ready Play, advert for Retro Format Magazine, Israel Roman, Selection CPC Developer, Gunnar Kald, who writes lots of 10 liners, Old School Gamer, and Burger Interview, Old School Gamer Magazine, Advert, Every Game Going, and last annual 2020 Facebook group. And that's it for volume one. Volume two is just being finalized and ready to print. And just launching now is the Blast Mini, a small PDF with uh, more focused interviews and articles. And that's all for this time.